Hi guys, it's X. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I've never done a video like this before. So uh, let me just explain basically what it is about. So I have a baby cousin who enjoys reading, loves to read, and I've been also listening to this podcast. Um, the podcast is starring Milana and she had a book club and I heard her recommend this book that Reese Witherspoon had actually recommended called Where the Crawdads Sing. So I had a fun idea to go on to my Instagram stories and post um, a, not a poll, but like basically recommendations on books. And people kept asking me like, well, what kind of books are you into? To be honest, I don't really know. I liked like love stories when I was like younger and I never really liked to read when I was like in high school and college because that's basically all you do. I did, I think the first series I ever read was the Pretty Little Liar series. And the reason why I started reading it was because the show was barely about to come out. I think I was like in my early 20s when I first started reading them. I think I have about, I want to say at least, at least 10, maybe 15 books. I don't remember. So I'm currently reading, rereading the series because I rewatched the series recently. And I remember just thinking that the books were so much better than the actual series. There was just more like, I guess dark stuff that went on <laughs> but anyway um i wanted to talk real quick about the recommendations that i had received and how i chose to just um the order that i chose to read them in and it was really exciting so the first one is the starless sea and this was um recommended to me by a coworker, and so was um a deadly education so this one i'm currently reading as well as the series so i'm hoping once i finish this i can just focus on each book at a time instead of reading like two three books at once um but basically this one it was a little hard for me to catch on at first because it goes back and forth between a story and then like the person's life and i it took me a couple chapters before i realized that um also the reason why i wanted to start reading more was because i'm terrible at spelling and I know the more you read, the more you see the words, like it'll be better. So I just wanted also for that, I'm great at math, but English, not so great. Um, so A Deadly Education, to be honest, I have not really seen what exactly, or like read what exactly it is about. Actually, all these books that I got were all recommendations. I decided to buy all the recommendations that people uh, recommended to me. So I actually don't know what these books are. The next one is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and um this was recommended by my baby cousin this is where the crowd dad sing this was what uh, milana recommended on her podcast and i'm gonna read this one next after the starless sea because there is a movie coming out next month and then um the next one was so i was just recommended this author uh colleen hoover not really this book and when i went to google her i saw there was tons of books and actually a lot of people when I purchased it said that this was such a good book and recommended other books from her. So I'm excited to read that one too. And then um, I'm not sure what this is about. This is actually the biggest book that I have. And this was recommended to me from a friend that I used to work with. And so yeah, I'm excited to read all of these. I thought it was a little ambitious to buy all six of these books. I kind of find it funny because one, I'm not one to really sit and read. Um, the Pretty Little Liar series is an easy book to read and I feel like I already know the story so it's kind of interesting and so I read that pretty quickly. The Starless Sea is actually a little bit harder for me to focus on. Um, so it's so funny like everything that piques your interest and how there are some books that you just can't put your the book down and then there's other books that you're like oh, dragging dragging on so i'm hoping once i finish the series i could just skim through it but i thought it was funny because i actually started um following this girl on instagram i don't know why like the algorithms on these things are so crazy like you start talking about something and then it shows up in your feed right like your phone's listening i started seeing this page over and over and i believe the instagram handle is taylor's bookshelf 
and I started following her and this girl reads so much. I couldn't believe how many books. I'm like, dude, do I need to take like a speed reading class? How are you getting through all these books? So I find it a little ambitious that I went ahead and bought six books. So anyway, the purpose of this video was to one, pique your interest and inspire you to start reading. And two, I would like any book recommendations for possibly next year. So for this year, my new year's resolution was to hike one new hike a week every week for the whole year and also i always do this um so far i have hiked i'm i just finished my 24th hike of the year but i also always want to get all the badges from the apple watch um for every month so i am currently on the fifth month duh because or no we're going to six the sixth month um so i'm hoping to do that but i think next year my new year's resolution will probably be to read maybe 12 books maybe we should do one a year i don't want to be too ambitious because i honestly like right now i have the time to read but once i set my second job i don't know if i'm gonna have the time to read but anyway thank you guys so much for watching oh and we reached thank you and i'm saying we because you guys follow me a thousand subscribers on this channel and i'm so excited thank you guys so much it's taken me I started my YouTube channel, I think 2012, 2013, but I didn't really focus on it until about a year and a half ago. So I just wanna say thank you for all of you who subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. And don't forget to leave me the recommendations.